it almost seems like the emphasis with behavior, stimulus, and reward, the emphasis is on social gesture, social words, social awareness, consciousness, and concentration, and no racism, no harassment, and get rid of climate change now. are being assigned to people like me to figure out how the world can control and make folks and people not get hurt years ahead during the crisis of people immigrating every, everywhere, no food, starving babies, <laughs> low birth rates and failure almost turning to chaos like the sirens outside my window now. And the speed keeps going faster and faster and faster quicker and quicker and more exact. And now the last parts of Have You Ever and the limits for what a person like me can even do, say, or hope, or dream for, or work towards. And not how much credit I receive, and how much acknowledgement, and how much support, and how much encouragement. But no dang options. Mostly. No choices to make other than trying to make sure I die calmly, respectfully, and with honor. Mostly. And praying for no pain and less suffering than now. Speed dazzles people. Speed gets people jittery, gets them horny, gets them emotional, and then sleepy. Sometimes right away, sometimes years, sometimes hours, and mostly weeks here in Seattle, Washington. From all of the drugs and the caffeine and the social benefits available for those who pay attention and are aware. In the old days, I think philosophers used to just sit and stare partly because of their limitations. Having to wait for progress to be analyzed. And how that's different now has to do with what's been achieved. If 
folks and people haven't just been trying to figure out emotional descriptions and color words and language for behavior. Engineers have been building nuclear energy. Engineers have been building electric cars. Engineers have been building homes, not at as high of risk for failure during an earthquake. Doctors have been learning to treat cancer better. Doctors have been learning better surgical methods and techniques and improving their skills. Technology businesses have made it as simple as to stay silent. to be hormonally neutral, to not have to worry about gender. Never hunting, never, never going out and fishing, never gathering some vegetables from the farm. Finding a place to start a garden. Having food delivered, having groceries delivered, Having bank accounts with more software to make sure there's never any disruption. Taking the thinking of the thought away from what the body normally does to live in the world. allowing them to make more rules, restrict when necessary, and deny with no remorse. College applications, goals, dreams, aspirations, inspirations, writing them off and saying in so many words, you are not correctly thinking now. Describing the better decision and choice and the option as getting the government to fix the problem. Directing the energy from the brain, mind, and body towards speed destruction, focusing on how to rebuild afterwards a better and more efficient and more green planet. With no racists, no white nationalists, nobody with a flag, only those who are willing to be happy and emotionally beneficial. Philosophers had no idea in the old days when they were looking down, staring, when they were trying to 
not get sad or not get lonely or not get frustrated. They had no idea about stimulus. They had no idea about brain, body, mind. They thought there was a mind-body problem. A kind of duality. kind of like saying to people now in all these social movements and these political decisions and this insistence on so much consciousness why don't you get it in the world why aren't you more <laughs> better and with the mind and body, you know, the, the body talking to the brain, why don't you ever do anything? All you do is think and just think and think and make me sad and make me depressed and get me mad. You never give me a break. And the brain saying to the body, why don't you ever do your own work? Why don't you ever stop feeding me drugs? And they're describing the brain as the mind, the mind-body problem. Nowadays, the brain with a mind. No clear indication about serotonin, dopamine, and especially psychological cognition. Mostly and predominantly thinking with thought to solve problems. And then resting and restricting the brain activity and limiting the mind to not be too distracting when a person needs to rest unless they're working on stuff like Karl Marx or Nietzsche or any other philosopher in different traditions those being the most close to the limits of human freedom people like Einstein would ride a bike around. People like Stephen Hawking would do work for a world where they can't walk. Or with Einstein, in a world where he had to flee his home. His holiness the Dalai Lama. Being forced to leave all his friends, all the people who supported him, encouraged him, and believed in what he was doing now, previously. And similarly, here in the United States of America, in Seattle, Washington, declaring speed and progress and getting rid of the problems ideal and a best and most correct decision to make.
now.